You already know what it is. We back with another banger. <laughs> we miss y'all. Yeah, I mean, things been <laughs> things been real busy, but welcome to the Love Lab Podcast episode. I'm gonna say 13, 14. I'm gonna go back and check. I think, I think you we just stopped like, keeping track after 10. Yeah, so. we just, on this topic, <laughs> right? We're just gonna start saying on this topic. Mm-hmm. We're gonna talk about commitment, everything. We're gonna talk about what it is. What what are the components it takes it's hot. to have a healthy Excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> while we open the champagne, <laughs> it's dripping. It's Oops. Yeah. No, this is not sponsored by any company, but man, this we support our black owned business. Ballet Rose, you already know what time it is. Well, this time we're doing the gold bottle, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, you know, we're gonna talk about everything what it takes to keep, attract, uh, develop. Strong relationship, strong healthy relationship we are building, and it's none of that toxic BS. We're gonna take it from the top. So, what are what are some key components <laughs> that you think? I even took a sip of my drink yet. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Shout out to our thousand subscribers. We're very close to being monetized. It's an amazing feeling. So I guess that's to what the toast. That that's what the you, that's what the toast is for. Yeah, to think that many of you rock with us like that. Yeah, I mean, that's and if special. you haven't already, like, share, comment, subscribe. Before we get into this, see what I mean? If you have some wine or some champagne, <laughs> put it up in the air, you're getting spicy. So I'm just gonna start it off, I guess. <laughs> oh, matter of fact, start it off, start it off. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna say some of the key components is PTSD is very like associated with like military, blah, blah, blah. Shout out my troops, whatever. <laughs> But we're not talking about that. PTSD relationship wise, don't bring extra baggage into a relationship. I would say don't come in with a menu. Like there's a lot of millennials in this day and age like to come in with a menu. He or she needs to have this, they need to have that, they need to have this, they need to have that. Yes, that whole huge list you like accumulated over time through X amount of relationships, that's cool boo boo, but it is not effective. If, especially if it's like, especially if you're not in a relationship right now or like in a healthy relationship right now, clearly it's not effective. I would say scrap it, scrap it, just scrap it. That's, those are like things you had to deal with in the past. That's not how you should proceed in the future if you don't want to attract the same thing you had in the past. Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, if you go off that checklist then you're basically signing up for the same thing you've been in the past because those are things you accumulated from your past amen so like amen. <laughs> it's gone it's gonna be a it's gonna be the hamster on the going. wheel the hamster <laughs> on the wheel is gonna keep spinning if you keep doing that bullshit just come into it fresh open-minded you know with your best foot forward in the sense of mind body and soul and when i say that i'm saying like your intent is for value and purpose right yeah. it's not for anything short term it's not for you're not here for the bullshit and like people who think that coming off with your direct intent initially is wrong and is a little too much i would say you're wrong because that is the exact thing you need to do to attract who you want right yeah. you need to be direct you need to be honest you need to be on the money you feel me like you need to be what you mean first of all you need to be the person that you will want to be with and well, my first key rule is a list it's coming with the list well te- this is an unwritten list that we're talking about <laughs> yeah but it's not I'm the same about the similar written. list i'm talking yeah, about yeah yeah i'm not talking about my talking first about- I'm talking about, you gotta have money, you gotta <laughs> have a car, he has to be making a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm saying if you didn't even, if you don't even equate to the list that you're making, I don't even know why you even have one. Yeah. The only list you should come with is the, the yeah stuff I mean? that you really clearly want. Right, right. You should make that clear. Everything that you want. Exactly. Just straight up. Straight off the up. Bat. <laughs> That's the only list you should really come with. Right. And me. and you will want to seek things that compliment you, not yeah. things that challenge you negatively. You yeah. want to challenge, but you want to cha- challenge positively, like mm-hmm. not things that are detrimental to your mental state and your, your mental health. Period. I think that's you, number. Yeah. Yeah, I would say encouragement. Someone that's going to provide both intellect and, I guess, in a materialistic way, stability. Right? Support. Like, if you ain't got it, I got it. If you got it, yeah. you got it, I got it. You know what I mean? Like everything is on a mutual playing field. Period. Well, and, I got a couple. Yeah. You- no. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to say, and you. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, so first I say, come with what you really want. Know what you really, well, you should already know what you really want by the next, by this go, <laughs> to be honest. Cause you think about it, you know everything you don't want from all the relationships you've been had. Like he was saying, you know, You've been through. I think mm -hmm. you've been through crappy relationships where you attracted other people and stuff. Right. You know and what you want to attract now. Like yeah. That that list is not gonna cut. Who's gonna complete that list? Exactly. You know what you should want now, judging from all the mistakes you made with other people in other relationships. So I say be clear about what you really want. I'm thinking right now. I would say be a realistic too. Like <laughs> be realistic, cause you just reminded me. Like if you want to attract what you want, you have to be realistic with yourself. I'm sorry, but a hundred percent of you are not all the baddest. Nope. You're not all ten out of tens. There's a reason why there's a scale. It's because not everyone falls at the top of the list that was the case it's walking around angels okay. everywhere <laughs> everyone would be rihanna bad and everyone would be who's a handsome fellow uh chris hemsworth and, you know what i mean like and not everyone's walking around at that caliber in the sense of like physical attraction keynote don't base everything off of physical attraction look right. for the key things that will benefit you in the sense of should we be numbering these down for y'all? Okay, uh, number one. I don't know. What yeah, was I... your number one, Larry? Let's say your number one. Number one. Your number one rule was. Be realistic. Boom. Number two. Know what you really want. Like I said. Oh, scrap, <laughs> scrap the PTSD list. Yeah. Not every person you. First of all, a new encounter. A first impression is called the first impression because it's your first time meeting the person. So scrap the list because every person's not gonna. You know how people will be like, oh, as soon as I see one sign from the list just don't come with no list it's it's, it's over heart. with because <laughs> you better come with an open heart and humble yourself i've already seen <laughs> that and they've done that before everybody is their own individual stop comparing people your past trauma to your new relationships because that's already bringing in a dark vibe to uh -huh. to the encounter just based on first impression so instead of doing that how about you come to it fresh the same way you do a job interview right number now. three be direct Hey. Be direct. No I mean, beating around the know what you want. That's how you get in the friend zone. <laughs> That's how you get in the friend zone. Like you don't be direct. You want it. I mean, it must be friends first. Nah, I want to get to know you because I would like to pursue you on this level. If I can't equate to this level, I shouldn't be approaching you on that sense. That's why there's so many short term. <laughs> Two week relationship. <laughs> Those two week relationships you be seeing everywhere. I just burped and wine went through my You're nose. You're doing too much. <laughs> don't mind me. I we got two on the list. That's for three. Down. That's three. Four. Don't be so jealous. Cause a lot of y'all like to. <laughs> no, this wine is burning my nose. Number four. Don't be so damn jealous. Okay. Cause that's just a terrible negative energy you bring it into the space. If you see right. love, be accepting and celebrate it. Don't be salty because it ain't gonna gravitate towards you, honey. Right, right. <laughs> so oh. don't come in with no jealous energy. Jealousy in a relationship don't work. Jealousy come coming into it off the back don't work. That aggressive, you know, like when girls are just mm -hmm. like your mind, like in mm -hmm. the beginning, how like some girls are I'm crazy. You better believe them when they say they're great. <laughs> I'm just saying, believe them when they say they're crazy, and because that just fuses, that gives off jealousy off the back. Like, nice. <laughs> I was... they're telling you, and that, that's cool too. Like, be straight up, like I said, be straight up about, you know, how you want somebody to move with you, how you want to be treated, all that good stuff. Be open, but that jealous energy is not going to attract anything good. Yeah. And so, with love, I would also <laughs> like to, to piggyback off that and support five. love when you see it in other relationships. You feel me? To piggyback off Puppy. when I see that, number four five will be change the environment because like if you notice in your past that if you have that every nigga the same all these women are the same mentality that's because of the environment right you're seeking for love in a temporary place change the environment right if you notice there are negative things going down in the environment you typically find yourself looking for loving or like there's any toxicity in that environment on any level mm -hmm. shift that switch that out go into a new environment get out your comfort zone go into a more positive thinking environment people that are doing things you know nice. what i mean creatives just people that have things going on that are positive mm -hmm. if you find yourself jumping from scammer to scammer or like drug dealer to drug dealer or like people that are doing negative things you typically find the same characteristics in those men or women period that's why you you come up with this notion that every person is the same that you deal with. So switch up the environment. Mm -hmm. I promise things will have an upside. Change up period. for you. Yeah. 
Switch it up. Wait, what number was that? Number five. Alright, number five. Environment. Number six. Let's get it. <laughs> number six. I guess we're gonna list like ten for y'all, cuz. Why, why not? Let's go to ten. <laughs> six. I'm gonna say. I would say vulnerability. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Go number six. No, go ahead. I got number seven. <laughs> what am I gonna say now? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. What, she know. got short term. She got no, Alzheimer's on me? Listen, <laughs> as you've seen from Calvin's videos of us, when he interrupts Alzheimer's. me, I lose thought. <laughs> okay? I'm just like, all right? Number six. Oh, number six. <laughs> <laughs> number six. Fair and rejection. A be accepting of that Ooh. shit. <laughs> Fair rejection, those things are a motherfucker. I'm sorry, my my this I'm sorry, my my mouth. But <laughs> it's okay. We're speaking to adults, hopefully. Be accepting. Adults are watching yeah. Us. Be accepting of rejection because it's gonna come along the path, along the journey of dating. Yeah, yeah. I would along say yeah. <laughs> scrap rejection, like the fear of rejection. Yeah. Be accepting of like what's to come. People, not everybody's gonna like you or vibe with you. Like you know I me. Mean? But accepting those things makes it a little easier to find somebody. Right, right. right. Like. Yeah, you're gonna go through different this is why i say be accepting because you know rejection could cause people to shut down yeah. like that's real well, people <laughs> fear rejection so much that that's real that they, they don't, don't even try. shoot their shot they or don't try. even try yeah it's so and i would say on men too like if you're tired of a, a certain type of woman chances are you're just going for the same you gotta change the environment and lose the fear of rejection for shooting for actually what you want because like Shorty could be waiting at the coffee shop. Your wife could probably be waiting at the coffee shop. You never even know. You just going to get your coffee. You never you had the intent in your mind, but you never went you never had the direct. You think men get rejected more than women? No. I no, yes. I would say yes <laughs> in the sense that I think uh, that's true too. Men have the balls enough to try. You know what I mean? Like to try and court a woman. Women typically nowadays, especially nowadays, don't court men at all. Yeah, you're right. You're they right, think right, yeah. that they're the most high value piece on the market. We see it all the time. And then, <laughs> and in the case, it's so abundant that you're actually the lowest on. You know what I mean? I need another glass. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> And it's like, and that that is the real case that's going on now. There's so much everywhere. Uh, we, I mean, just for just 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 so no one need none of y'all flaggers. <laughs> There's so much, yeah, I mean, everywhere that it's become so, so abundant that true. that the value of it has plummeted. You selling it for three ninety nine on OnlyFans? I'm just saying that's not that's no longer the the valuable piece of of the relationship right that's just the component of it everything around it has to do with character personality if you want to find someone that is the better half of you you have to move like it you have to move, move. like yeah move like that like shit. you want that <laughs> if, yeah exactly and just like eliminate like don't act like you can't eliminate bad habits like it's 20. not that hard honestly which is what your what your, what your your what your, your, your average psychologist says 21 days to make a habit, 22 days to break one. Period. It's Stop. a difference ain't that much. It's not that hard. And it's not that hard. It's, it's not that point. hard. So Positive like, thinking can do a lot. The bad part about it is that people convince themselves that it's so difficult to do, so hard to do, because they have drowned themselves in that mm -hmm. situation or environment, right? They just like subject themselves to that value and they don't realize the inner beauty of it all. Like, I can overcome this and I technically don't have to deal with this. I'm making a choice mm. to be in this situation. You just have to navigate the other way. Right, choose what's best for you at all costs. At all costs. And that should have. My next rule. Well, what was We this? met on Tinder. Facts. We met on a dating site. So that site. should tell you enough. Like, yeah. And the thing, about, the thing about us is just like, we. I approached her fed up with the world. Like, fed up with these I know scandalous that. women. I know and that. like. It was so natural just because like I didn't have the intent to sleep with her. That the, like that wasn't the intent. Like I was already what twenty what I mean two and a half years ago. Twenty six. I was twenty six. Time flies. Or twenty five. <laughs> Turning twenty six. I'm twenty eight now. Very true. I didn't have the intent to sleep with her at all. I just wanted to know her mind, how it works. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. things that I would appreciate in a companion if sex wasn't involved because like that was the most i'm telling you that's not a commodity i mean it's a commodity but it's, it's not a high value thing anymore that's not what the 
to where the intent was. That's why. Yeah. But it was months before we even slept together. Facts. So <laughs> we was talking for months before we even. We was talking for basically. We're even in the same room. Like so, ten months. Like ten months. That should tell you enough. <laughs> and off the back, when we started talking, I was just like, I don't want to. I think I was like, I, I don't want to date right now. Or something, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go was out on, or anything it, right now. It was but like we ended it was up like talking it. like every. Every, basically every day after that <laughs> basically every day after like, that she was basically the, lived with me after the that connection, the <laughs> no it was crazy because the first it took time like two we, weeks yeah the first time that. when we met after those 10 months of not seeing each other and talking just through chat and shit the first time i came by him i stayed <laughs> Damn, was it was it. 10 months yeah it was like it low-key 10, 10 months. months i remember because i was dragging so it, it out was... i'm like is it really 10 months right now and i still haven't met him but my thing <laughs> is my thing is like even if it's just like and instantly once uh, you we're met. not saying that like you gotta wait to i mean yeah we're just saying <laughs> to get intimate i'm just saying that you have to know how valuable that actually is you don't understand how valuable it is if you think that's a way to get to know each other mm-hmm like the way to get to know each other is bringing it back old school. Talk. Get up. Communicate. Nowadays, you just want to sleep first, get get the temporary emotions of having that sexual whatever. Then after you and just then y'all yeah, want to get to it. Yeah, yeah I mean, but that's not how it works. It, yeah, like facts. It never worked that way. It maybe worked that way with pimps and hoes, but not with regular people. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> We were trying to seven. figure out where we was at. Facts. Minor interruption. <laughs> I'm hot. So we're talking about just number seven. Yeah. Love yourself. <laughs> Period. <laughs> that should have been one. She said number seven. Oh no, I love yourself. I don't know why. Why that we ain't the even first put that one. as one? Like. Nah, for real though, love yourself because how you expect to attract other people if you don't love you? Like, yeah, you if you're in a negative place. How you expect to attract something good? How you don't fully love you? Like, <laughs> sorry, yeah. So I'm like, high. what if everything you've been through, like let's say everything you've been through in the past, horrible, okay. complete shit, like, mm -hmm. relationship after relationship, upset, betrayal, deceit. You have some fueled up. Yeah, you know I mean, it's animosity, right? Yeah. Towards that's the part that we're just like all these components we named have to come into play for you to like gear yourself towards what's actually right get away from the encounters that typically land you in the Lizzie, you get a damn hobby and you deal with that shit constructively <laughs> because you're not about to sit there and hurt other people because you don't love yeah, yourself yeah because fully. you're toxic as fuck like you don't blunt as fuck you don't <laughs> you don't bring that destructive destructo disc <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. you don't bring it there's like, art classes out here. There's boxing out here. There's yeah, I mean, kickboxing yeah, out yeah. here. There's martial if, arts. If you Pick have one, some pent up aggression and people. anger towards like <laughs> anything, if you just like have memories that bring you anger, <laughs> there's <It's> boxing. <laughs> there's kickboxing. There's whatever she named Pilates. It's too much. You it's got yoga. You, please. There's no excuse for hurting other people because you right. don't love yourself fully. There's exactly, no excuse. Period. So that's. It should have been one, but hey, but seven. Hey, it's, it's Here we seven. are. <laughs> Man. Kurt Bay is Hurt Bay. Oh my god, that was horrible. Y'all saw Hurt even Bay? Gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we're not even gonna get into that. Number eight. I remember I when was, Hurt Bay was viral. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was pathetic. Pathetic! But I'm gonna say, number eight will be commitment. Actually, no. With all all seven of the things we named, put that into account and then put commitment in, right? What y'all be saying on social media? I need a down chick. I need to ride the down. Well, I want someone that's gonna ride the down for me. Yeah. Man, if you don't <laughs> shut your ass up, <laughs> if you not gonna be that person, then why are you even saying that? Like, why are you even bringing that up? if you're not even the full package right so like know what you like don't this shit is not a gamble you feel me like people be like plenty fish in the sea if this shit is not a gamble if you would court your counterpart like you would court your equal level mate if the intent is pure and like commitment dedicate yourself to it mm -hmm. right if you know you don't want something temporary dedicate yourself to it time everything 
every fucking asset you have to bring to the table, dedicate yourself to it. Dedication is eight. I mean, commitment and dedication, those are synonyms. Have that mindset. You have the discipline to get money, attract people, whatever the fuck you have the discipline to do. You have discipline, period. Have the discipline and commit. Period. It's not that hard. Period. How long you've been masturbating? <laughs> A long time. That's dedication. So if you can dedicate yourself to <laughs> masturbation, it's not that hard to dedicate yourself to the person you want to be with for the rest of your life. Very true. Like I said, we bring it back. You know what you don't want. If she don't, if. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, get it together. And I would just say beneficial compromise. That's number it's nine. Number nine. Just compromise. Not compromisation in the sense of you having to lose something in order to gain an equally beneficial part. Mm -hmm. I would say, like, come to an agreement on an equally beneficial part where there's no loss involved in the sense. Typically, the loss is involved when there's some type of desire or fantasy you want to get out you can integrate that into your love life mm -hmm. shocker <laughs> you can integrate that into your love life without having to cheat Real talk. we damn we got here so damn now nah, we didn't get here fast <laughs> i'm not even gonna cap we didn't get to that fast at all because we've honestly i mean this is an off the top video this is just so this is us talking about yeah really. like these are the debates we will have so, um, and discussions we'll have just on the cusp real talk so we will figure we end it off we end it off by 10 and i'm gonna say i think you should just practice universal love learn to love in your friendships learn to love your family wholeheartedly your friends learn to everyone. you know everyone don't be so closed off people if you have, have people People define love so many different ways, and I feel like it's just a one plan. Like you, you love just love the same all, yeah. yeah, all over. Like all the things that spread you, it the best way you, you like, can, and the best energy will come back to you. And I promise that's you, that's a fact. Like, yeah, I can speak. For I'm that heavy. hundred percent. So, hundred percent. You feel me? I meet new people all the time, and I just want to open my hearts to them. Right. To be honest. That's right. how I am. And so it's because a lot of people are not exposed to that. A lot of people. But yeah. my thing is just like that's the best to way be to be more lead. of that. That's, you feel me? You get the best friendships, the best relationships in every mm -hmm. fucking semantics of the word relationship. Yeah. You get the best of it when you just lead with love. Just yeah. Be pure with your shit, and I promise. Let it consume you. It's beautiful. I promise you will have the best environment Facts. you could think of. It's like, yeah, that was my number 10. Bam. <laughs> and you already know what it is. We're back with another banger. Pretty much. I'm shout hot out, as hell. Shout out our thousand the subscribers. Wines. A thousand, <laughs> a thousand subscribers. We appreciate every single one of y'all. If you want to support, hit that subscribe button. Thanks. You already know what time it is. We're sipping on that Bel Air Rose. Well, gold bottle, role models. And those were 10 ways that you can attract your soulmate. <laughs> attract your soulmate. Yeah, I mean, just you know live me? a healthy and you know committed lifestyle. Some healthy like, dating advice there. Healthy dating rules there for you. Find your, you know, meant to be partner forever. Whatever, what are you going to call and it? And if anything... If it works for you, comment under this video. <laughs> period. Comment under this video. Let Pop us know merch. how that You already know what it is. We got Ply and Pressure all 2021. Puffy. Link going to be in the description. We ain't no relationships expert either. So don't and be blaming no us for your downfalls we either. We're just yeah, giving I mean, you the best advice. Either. And I'm saying we have, we're the happiest we've ever been. Yeah, very happy. I've ever been. I've ever been. Period. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>